What did you start with, like going way back? Well, I bought a studio, so I kind of got spoiled. Um, bought Rock City, which had a big old trident thing in it. Yeah. Called a TSM, maybe I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. Bloody great thing, though, it's huge. Yeah. Crack monster. So I, I didn't operate it very often, but I dabbled around the edges of the engineers that knew what they were doing. Yeah. And it was really by doing that that I picked up a, a very, very basic understanding of engineering. Yeah. Um, enough that I can do this sort of thing these days without an engineer. But I am basic. There's no reason there's an electronic drum kit in here, it's because I've got no idea how to mic Mac up a drum kit. Yeah, yeah. And I've only got one mic anyway. <laughs> My little <laughs> See you there. My little SM58. Just hang it from the Yeah, and I, just, I just got this pop shield for it because up until then I used to have a bit of old sponge that I'd get yeah, yeah. and I did about four albums with that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look at the state of it, there's not only paint left on it. I've had it for so many years. And this is what I've done with vocals on. Well, yeah. Probably why they sound so shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's great, though, isn't it? Yes. I was speaking to someone else yesterday, Blake from Feeder, and they, they use his SM58 just the same. Yeah. Yeah, cracking little mic. Do you record your vocals in here? Yeah, you have to turn most of the gear off though because the noise yeah, of the fans. Yeah. No, not, not, not girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> cool, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, sharp. <laughs> Almost everything in here has got some cooling fan sort of whirring yeah, yeah, yeah. and you just Sometimes you put the mic up with, with nothing happening and, and you just the amount of stuff, know, yeah, yeah. The, the noise base is just phenomenal, you know. And you just one by one you turn all these fans and you just see this yeah. noise base dropping down. So after a while you can you can get it to an acceptable level. Yeah. But um, even this this room is actually a, a, a stopgap. The, the plan is to have a much much larger room um, next year. Hopefully, yeah. maybe later this year, but probably next year now because yeah. the way the album's dragged on a bit. Yeah. Which would be at least twice the size of this, and I would have a separate live room with a remote in it. Yeah. That kind of thing. Um, and a toilet, and a kitchen, <laughs> so I don't have to keep going, going home all the time. Yeah. So, uh, the, the, yeah, but it, in really though, this is for one bloke. This is ample. You know, I just sit here yeah, on my own. Yeah, pretty yeah. much reach everything. It's a lovely little room, so I can't knock, knock it at all. You know, I've got no excuses for. Yeah. You know, I can't keep pointing at bad gear and saying, "If I get the gear, things would be better." You know, I can't do that at all. You can get much better gear than what I've got in here, but you can get a lot worse. Yeah. 